Welcome to the first ever guided steel mace experience. This is my private practice on Saturday at 12 o'clock. I practice this ritual of healing. And it's so much easier to do in the dark in my garage. It's so much easier. But today, I've done it so many times and it works so fucking good. I thought I'd have you guys go through it. So today, I'm going to put you through my healing journey. I have to ask you for permission to send it. Don't say anything yet. All the way. But before you give me permission to send it all the way, promise me that you will not stop me from sending it all the way. Can I send it? Send it! Don't play with my heart. <laughs> my work of art. By giving me the right to express myself the way I do today, I give you permission to take hold of my heart. Grab yourself a mace. Come back to your place. If you need a mat because you're in the grass, that's okay. We will be on the floor today. We will be in the dirt. <laughs> Have a seat. Write down what you want to send all the fucking way. Write down what you want to send all the way. Write it down. Big inhale. Big exhale. I 
tell stories with heavy emphasis on symbolism. So if you like symbols. You guys want to hear something I believe? Yeah. In mantras? You believe in them? Do you know how to supercharge a mantra? Ritualized dance? You cast a spell, you dance. That's how I heal myself. I create a mantra and I create a dance to it called the flow. If you have a problem, tell me like a problem you have, like uh, bad sex life, uh, I don't like my mom. Like, anybody have a problem? I'm afraid to end up like my dad. I have a flow for that. But it's so beautiful that if you do it, it'll change the way you see that. Because it's so beautiful. And it's something you get to work on over and over in mantra. And it's not beautiful at first, it's like a sea. But then over time, it turns into something so beautiful, you can look back at that memory like, I shall know, motherfucker. Who else has a problem? I'm afraid of my own power. I have a flow, an exact flow that I teach and give to my students, and it works so well, I can teach you it. Who else? Who else has a problem? I want a good one. I don't have a flow for that, <laughs> but I can teach you how to create your own flow for that. We're going to use music for subliminal messaging, so heads up, shout out to Max Major. He hypnotized me. First thing I want to do is play some sounds with your mace. I'm gonna teach you how to do this and we're gonna fucking jam. Let me teach you first. If you hold the head of the mace, the solid, with your fingers, lift the tail up. Like you're holding the biggest joint in your life. Big. Like this. And watch tap it at the top. Ah, church bells. Go to the middle. Go to the bottom. Stop, put it down. Oh, take the play away. Here's your moment. Here's your moment. While we're in this jam session, find your own. Find a sound, right? Tap your mace, just play. Find a sound that, that tells you, yeah. And find your own, okay? All right, we're gonna tune you and your mace at the same frequency. I think it's the phone. Oh, thank you. It's the phone. I'm nervous, but I'll start it off. You guys just follow me for the first bit and then you guys do whatever you want. This song is called Be Water. It's by Bruce Lee. It's about no messaging. What do you guys think it's about? Should we stand up? This is gonna give you the best bicep workout ever. I call this workout Holy Biceps. <laughs> make holy sounds and you're gonna, gonna do a five minute static hold. Big sound, check it out, just big sound. Yeah, keep going. That one's tricky, let's go to a solid. Send that vibration all the way down to your soul. Close your eyes. Switch hands. You're not 
not balanced, you need more work on that side. Go back. Here we go, raindrops. Hit fingers. Close your eyes. Play your own music. And flow. Move your feet. Put on your bass. Find your own, find that sweet sound. And now breathe like a fucking warrior that wants to heal today. I'm not gonna tell you where to breathe, just breathe like a fucking warrior. Rattle that mace. Energy in, it equals energy out, let's go. Bang that mace with your ring, go ahead. Good job. Four minutes static hole. You guys are sick. Did you guys find the sound? Yes. I want you to make the mace vibrate as long as you can and keep your eyes closed. I want you to take a big inhale and then when you exhale, I want you to tap your mace. In. Out. And if you can make it ring longer than you exhale, you can hold the rest of the time. And if you let it sway back and forth, it'll ring more. In. Out. Hold. In. Out. At your own pace, for the next 60 seconds, the floor is yours. Make as much music as you can.
give it a name. And I need you to follow my instructions steadily. Give it a name. One word, two words, simple. Name it. Without flinching, write that name on your non-dominant hand, on your palm, write the name on your palm. The thing you will never let go, write it down on your palm. And make a fist, tight fist. Don't ever open that hand, don't open that hand. Once you write it, shut that fucking hand. Dead serious, with intent. I will never let go of, it's in your hand, don't let go of it. I have a meditation I use whenever I get stuck with not wanting to let go of things. I'm going to put you guys through it. I go through this every Saturday. I'm going to do it first. You're going to do it second. Please let me give you a very good example. Don't get too excited. Keep your hand closed. This lesson is called Hold On. Hold heart. Hold on. Hold heart. I'm going to keep my hand that's folded up down here. I'm going to press my mesa. It gets heavy. She gets real heavy. Almost unimaginable, almost too heavy. When this gets heavy, like a warrior plays his drum, you put your hand on your heart. You press your open hand into your heart. Press heart and hold. And what do you say? I want you to feel what your body goes through. I want you to feel what happens to the weight when you connect with your heart. Everybody stand up with your mace. You said you'd go all the way. Mace. At ready. Before you start, close your eyes. Think of the thing. See it. See it more. Smell it. Smell it. And now, press your eyes. And hold it. Your bottom hand doesn't touch your heart until it has to. And when you do, you march right back. strong you are.
Try it on the other side. Go ahead and pick your waist up. And this time in this exercise, no, you can let go at any time. Share what they wrote down. I wrote down love. Brooks, do you feel like you have a new way to meditate to help you have a better relationship with your attachment to love? Thank you, sir. So you get the same flow state. What? Double up on your playlist like a pro? Sometimes that journal's inside.
Some things are better acted out and then wrote upon later. So we will journal after the experience. Let's stand up and pick your mason. simple exercise, let me teach it to you. We're going to hold our maze just like you would a farm tool, the heavy side down, under on the heavy side, and over on the other. And just like a seatbelt, go from hip to heart to shoulder. Why right don't everybody do this? All right, everybody knows how to pray, so this is simple. You don't have to be a pro at this. Your story will revive. Rhythm. Stop. We're going to take our mace and rotate it to the side of our body. But nothing changes. From there, I'm going to do the same move. I'm going to rotate all the way around. And I'm going to do the same thing. Rotate. Switch. If you can't do this one, just do the first one. yourself you're doing it wrong, you're wrong. You've never done it before. You're doing it right. Everybody's doing it right. Everybody basically knows the move. You don't have to do it right. I'm going to ask you guys for a favor. Don't walk anywhere, okay? Keep your eyes closed. Now, it's going to be weird because there's going to be people swinging mace around you, and I want you to just trust them and trust yourself. And if you feel weird, just like sit down where you are. You You'll be safe. Let's everybody uh, start this movement together. All I'm going to have you do is this move for five minutes with your eyes closed. I want you to focus on the sound of my voice and your breath however you choose to use it. I really want your eyes closed. But if you need to open them, which I do in this practice just to get a bearing, it's okay. If you need to keep your eyes open, look through the veil. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm not going to start the music until you start the move, so I'll start. Let's just start with the front facing, I apologize. And if you are moved during this presentation, you can rotate.
want you to see yourself very clear. I want you to look into this other you dead in their eyes. And I want you to move into their body. Now standing in your older self, looking at this older, wiser you. I want you to think of yourself. For keeping the promise you made so long ago. I want you to thank yourself for keeping your promise to be this version of you. Look at all the work you've done. I'm so proud of you. I'm so fucking proud of you. Noticing the mace crosses your heart is the symbolism of the promise. Looking further into the geometry, the head of the mace makes some that you are wrapping around your promise, your promise, your symphony. Taking this amazing moment to be in this younger body, it feels so good. I want you to make a promise to this older you. Make another promise. Press your mace into your heart. Press your heart into your mace. <laughs> While you're moving it. Squeeze your eyes tight, change the color to black. Squeeze them tight, change the color to black. Soften your eyes, turn the color to green, turn the color to green and breathe directly into your heart. Smile big, chummy teeth, and open your eyes. It's pretty wild. Thank you guys so much. The story of the promise. It's just a real simple move. It has symbolism. And, um, and I thought it was beautiful watching this. Yeah. Thank you. Um, who uh, could share what the promise was? Ben, come on, check this out. Ben, I love you, man. It's been so cool watching Ben turn into Ben Walker. It's been... It's been been joyous. Been joyous. Ben said, I'll always play with myself. <laughs> no, but what was the realization when you figured out that you kept the promise? That's the goal. The celebration that you kept your promise. Ben, do you feel like you have a new way to meditate and gain a responsible relationship with your promise? Who can make a better promise? Anybody? <laughs> you are very different. You kept your promise. Young Yu is so fucking happy for you. Everybody look at him. Young Yu is that happy. Look. I don't. Now, uh, it's not a game of uh, who got the best promise, but uh, who has one? Never give up on love. Never give up on love. Bam, it's a heart. Ronnie, how did it feel to acknowledge to your younger self that you, you did it? You did the work? Right. Were you like, I wrote a book, man? <laughs> it just felt right. Whose conversation went another direction?
we're going to get on the floor. Get better. Just suck some real shit. I'm addicted to the healing process. I'm addicted to it. And I look back at the art I was creating when I was in the most shit. That was fucking electric art. Electric. I don't have that same fire anymore because I'm healed in a lot of ways. So sometimes I look for fights. Sometimes I look for negative energy. It's the truth, I'm addicted to the healing process. It does this fucking dopamine thing like I've never ever been through. I'm like, do it to my friends, I help heal them. And uh, I get addicted to it. So I came up with a flow to help me uh, and help you guys deal with it. So I have two shapes we're gonna make. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys full of dirt. So we're gonna make two shapes. And I trust you guys, so make room for yourselves. One's all about uh, being crushed. The next one is about extreme beauty. That's what happens when you get up from the shit. So there's two extreme forms, right? One is this like, I'm fucked. And then the next one's what happens when you get up from that shit, extreme beauty. I point my toes, boast my heart, I lift my chin, I reach back, and I you know, fucking nail it. I want you guys to breathe in those positions. Position one. I'm not on my toes, but you can be. I like to fuck my feet up. Sit on top of your spine. From here, I want you to do just a bow. You will need to lay your mace down. You'll have to set it down eventually. From there, I want you to do a spinal wave up. So I lead with my spine going back and I stack it and that helps me lift my mace responsibly. Right on, put your mace across your heart. All right, we're going to stand up on one of our legs to our tippy toe. It's the only leg we can stand up on. And we're going to put our spear behind us. And if you can, reach back. Bring your mace back down. And like a samurai. The hero's journey. Chase your bliss. Here's the bliss. Love your dragon. A little bit of shadow work. I'm going to make this so fucking beautiful that this ridiculous crumpled form that I'm making is going to shake people's hearts. I want you to make this a work of art. Set your mace down. I'll put some music on. We'll get going. Last bit of class. Thank you guys so much. And um, this piece is special. I want you guys to create a story, your own story, in this flow. And I want you to act it out. How many of you have frozen from defeat? 
I want you to think of that moment. Don't dwell in the weeds. Just bring it up. Something like, didn't you like, aren't you running across Australia to say fuck the man? Just bring a little bit of that heat and then stand up to it. One of the greatest lessons I've learned in my life uh, was from Mark England. He said, Leo, you love standing up to people, stand up to yourself. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> so um, I want you to get super passionate. I want you to tell your story. And I want you to come up with as many scenarios as you can. In Bushido, we used to ritualize, we used to meditate murdering ourselves, being killed over and over and over so we didn't have any fear. And so I can look fear in the face and I can show up. And so let's challenge that dark side. Let's do a little shadow work. Let's go all the way. You said I could go all the way. I promise you wouldn't stop me. I promise I won't stop you. In this musical theater, you can make sounds. You can say names. You can mantra the fuck up. And if something feels good, refine it. I'm gonna do a little bit of the practice with you so you can look up. Hopefully you get lost and you figure out how to get back on your own. Take a drink. Squeeze your eyes tight. Make it dark. Breathe into the darkness. Exhale, make a sound.
slower. Take your time. Take your time, hell, that shit. Don't rush through. a beautiful note, not to you, to somebody else who knows who, and then I want you to rip it out and I want you to give it to somebody in this group. Hey man, like your burns, your side burns, that'd be weird if you gave out to someone who didn't have them. Write down something you can give to anybody on the chance that somebody doesn't get one. He just doesn't say my side burns. So the last one left. came to the Strong Coach Summit uh, two years ago for inspiration to be around other leaders. It's important for leaders in the community to get around other leaders. And uh, it makes me real humble. In my own crowd, I'm so fucking cool, but like, there's so many smart wicked, like, wicked smart people here. Um, uh, thank you so much for letting me share my healing practice with you. Um, I teach this as a form of um, uh, meditation, but uh, the side effect is you'll get real fucking buff. Leo, how did you get so strong? I meditate a lot. <laughs> uh, I have a few minutes. If you guys have any questions or any insights, uh, let's hear. hear your beautiful voices, John. Yeah, bro. Um, no question, but it was what came, came up for me. Make it short. 
short, but knowing you, you, there's a lot there, like how we first met at the last summit, and we kind of just locked on to each other, and I saw what you were doing with the mace, and I was like, oh, he's like a samurai. Like, that's, that's what I saw. And uh, I just want to share this real quick, and this insight that I got, a couple weeks ago, I was outside of on it, and one of my good friends walks out, and she had just done your certification program, and she was like, so happy and she was just telling me all about it like it was emotional and people were crying and I <clears throat> I didn't like get that about the mace practice but I got that about you you know what I mean and it was like it was just a moment where I kind of got a new uh, emotional reference if you will about what you're doing just uh, you as a human being Very good students who pushed me to be a better than just one of my colleagues and students. And I look at him as, I've always looked at him as my equal, but uh, Ben was one of the men who pushed me because he was real fucking good. <laughs> Still am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for stamping that. The first savage group. For my end, I'm just getting to know you, but you're so beautiful, so strong, and so great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I was terrified. I was up late at night going over fucking notes. I was on LSD all day yesterday. <laughs> Couldn't figure out what you guys were saying until about 10 o'clock. And then I was like, all right. Go. <laughs> oh. My uh, partner couldn't be here today, but uh, she supported me through the journey. It was so nice to have a partner. Hard not get it at all. But like, love the shit out of me. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Uh, shout out to the Honor Academy for letting us use their magic wands. You don't have to put them up in the, in the heart thing, but uh, I would appreciate it if you did take care of them, put them off to the side. And uh, thank you guys so much for participating in the first ever Gary Silmax experience. Thank you, Liam. <laughs>